Okay, okay, okay. Here we go again. We have another build coming up on the channel. What's up guys? My name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. You see this? This is a brand new bike, but I have absolutely no idea which model, which color, which paint job it is instead of this one from 3T. So I started my relationship with 3T a couple months ago, but they had no stocks for me to build a bike, ride a bike. And when I pitched my Hawaii project, they were super down and they decided to send me a bike. But if you saw me on Instagram, probably saw that I haven't ridden the 3T bike in Hawaii because it showed up one day before my flight. Like I could have built it, test ride it, pack it again and bring it to Hawaii with me. But on a one day notice, there was just no chance for me to probably ride the bike before a trip. And this is something that a lot of people will tell you is do not ride something new on a race, on an event. Uh, you don't know what can go wrong after a first build. Like the disc brake might need some adjustment, the fork might need this, and the fitting might not be right. So I unfortunately had to postpone my collaboration with 3T. But now, now I'm back from Hawaii and now I got some time and I'm so excited to unbox this because it's new bike day. It's new bike day! Woo! All right, so what's the first thing I realized here about this box when it got here? Uh, look how my name is written here. Charles Wyman. That is the first time actually. I've never seen my name written like that ever. I'm gonna rebrand my YouTube channel name to Charles Wyman. It might be easier for all the English people out there. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, I'm just going to unbox this bike. It's supposed to be one of the most aero gravel bike in the world and I absolutely cannot wait to see it. Cannot wait to see the paint job and for real guys, I haven't seen which bike they sent me. Uh, my contact at 3T is a man of few words. He reply your emails in a single sentence, uh, so I'm not sure what's inside of there, but let's get it. Let's get it open guys. Woo! Oh, the feeling of Unboxing a bike. Sorry, some parts there. Fork and seat post. Let's not look at those yet. Okay, I'm not gonna look, guys. I'm not gonna look. I promise. How's that paint job? How is it? I'm not looking yet. How's that? How's that? You like it? I'm not looking yet. Woo -hoo! <laughs> All right. Gold and blue. Look at that. Would you look at that? One hell of a beautiful bike. Oh, beefy. This is beefy, look at that. All right, so this is the 3T Explorer. So what can I say about this bike? So basically from 3T analysis and testing, this is the most aero gravel bike on the market. And the reason for it is especially because of that down tube. So riding gravel, you have 40s, 45, 50s, and I think this bike can go up to 54 millimeters tires, which is huge. And the reason why this down tube is so beefy and oversized is so it's aligned with the beefier tire. So it's more aero as the, the, the drag from the wheels gets straight past the frame here at the same width. So this is extremely interesting. Uh, also the bottle cages and the bottles will be fully hidden here behind this beefier down tube. So right off the bat, I can definitely tell that this is a racing bike. Uh, there's not much mounting options like on my G2. Uh, there's no rear triangle mounting option. Man, this is, this is so beautiful. These, these corner ears are really well done. What I'm really stoked about is those two here at the bottom. So that would be for an extra bottle cage down there or maybe for all the tools. So I absolutely love how this rear triangle is made it's really beefy here, both at the bottom of the chainstay here on the top. I love how the curbs here are made. It's really nice design. Be looking very good with big tires up there. When it comes to that bottom bracket area, so I can definitely tell it's reinforced. It's bigger than a usually road bike, but I feel it's a little bit smaller than more a traditional gravel bike. Uh, this will probably mean for better agility, better handling of the bike if the bottom bracket is a bit higher 
Uh, I'm not too sure this is something I will need to test on that bike. So taking a look at the fork here, I love this aero profile. It's wider than I expected. I see that they are also flared out. It starts a bit wider at the front. It flares out here at the back. The color scheme is really nice. I think it'll look beautiful on the bike. Unfortunately, it's not fully internal here, uh, as you see. So the cable will, will need to come from the handle bar all the way to the outside of the fork, not on the inside. So what about the seat post? Well, it's, it's extremely light. I've rarely seen something this light. The fact that it has additional grip up there, uh, this clamping design here is, I don't think I like this clamping design. If it's like my Garneau or my Windspace, it's definitely something that I don't like. Uh, I like the fact that there is this aero profile again here. You start from a bit narrower, it finish wider, and it would finish with a flat part. So this is for reinforcement. That's uh, so it's a bit stronger here into the frame. Sorry about my cat. She's going crazy about the boxes here. Flaw, what are you doing? All right, so what else can I say about this bike? Well, I'm not gonna say much more into this unboxing. This is mostly a first view, a first look at the Exploro 3T. I, I need to ride this bike before telling you guys if it actually is a good purchase. I need to test it out. I need to see how great this bike is, how aero it is, maybe do some aero comparison with my other gravel bikes. But yeah, this will be super interesting, a really nice end of the season project. Hopefully I will be able to build it in time before we have snow here in Canada. And now you're probably asking, which group set would I build this bike? Well, 3T being an Italian company, I thought it would be so great for it to be a fully Italian build. I think it's pretty obvious now which well, I'm gonna build it, but got first of all some fulcrum wheels. These are 650B. These will be my first ever 650B wheels. Uh, so these are the Rapid Red 900. I don't think they're carbon. I think they're alloy, so a little bit on the heavier side but they're a bit smaller, so that's fine. I'll be able to put some big tires. And now for the group set. <clears throat> all right, so this, I know this is a lot of boxes. Uh, what's great about 3T is that they do all their components. So send in a 40 mil handlebar. They send in some Pana Racer 650B tire. These are the Gravel King SK. I think these are like a, really appreciated into the gravel scene. I've never ridden those Pana Racer before but these tires look so big. For the saddle, I mean, it's all Italian at this point. So it's a Physique. Uh, I've never ridden Physique before. It's exactly like all the saddles that I love. It has a short nose. It has an opening in the front. So this looks extremely comfortable for me. Next, we have some inner tubes, some bottle cage, a bar tape, all of those little accessories that I'm going to leave in the box. 3T also hooked it up with their stem because they make components. This stem is alloy, not carbon, but it looks great. It's a 100 mil stem. And now moving on to the group set. So going full Italian and going one by. So this will be an Eckhart group set, 13 speeds. So since this is a one by build, this cassette has so much range. He has a 9 to 42 teeth. Uh, so this is, will be super interesting to ride. I've never ridden a one by actually, other than my time trial bike, but for gravel, I'm sure it will be great. And moving on, I mean, these are just boxes at this point. It's not a, a car unboxing, but uh, these are the levers and we have some Campagnolo disc as well. We have a baby 386 press fit button bracket. And the last part is, ooh, let's see. All right, so we have the crank set here. That is, that is pretty small. It's a one by, of course. And this is, what size is it? I don't even know, 38? Does that make sense? Yeah, Z38. All right, so what's next for this 3T series? Well, it's like my other video series. So this one is just a little announcement, just for me to see and unbox this bike. Next, we're gonna be building this bike. So I will go to my bike shop. I will build it. Uh, this time I might do a, like a full build video. It's cash and on all the mechanics do it and then Take it on the road for a first spin, a first test ride, do some challenge, do some maybe some races. And then after a, a thousand kilometer riding this bike, I will be reviewing it. So it will be my review video. Yeah, this is basically it for this quick unboxing of the 3T Exploro. I'm super stoked on this paint job. It's beautiful. The build quality looks perfect. I don't see any default. I don't see any scratch or anything else like that. So I am really looking forward to build this bike and ride it. Because yes, at first look, and I'm, I'm sure it will, it definitely is looking a lot more aero than my other gravel bike. 
um, so this will be a huge advantage on gravel races. When the speeds are high at 40s and when you go on the tarmac, you need an aero bike. So this is a must for, for racing and I'm very looking forward to ride this bike. All right guys, so this is it for today's quick video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. If you want to learn more about this bike, there will be a link into the description down below. Do not hesitate to check it out. All right, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.